Hey everybody, it's me, Pam, Dragon Moon Creations. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, I have a couple of things to sh share with you today. First of all, I did say that I would share with you whenever I finished my uh, Flamingos Turn Vultures. So hang on. They don't have the legs on them, but that's that's my Flamingo Turn Vulture. It's got the, got the fuzzy stuff around its neck. So let me know what you think of that. Okay, trying to get it in there. I don't know, I think it's kind of cute. You don't want to stand it up, it's gonna, it's gonna look cute. Anyway, there's eight of those. I've got some of them I'm gonna give away. Okay, I shared that. And I made some more cards. I know the last time I made the Thanksgiving cards, I showed them to you and this was what I made. I'm gonna move that, that's very distracting. <laughs> that's my Kindle. Um, I made this one and I had some suggestions about sparkle. Well, I made another one, it's got the same background paper, changed it up a little bit, left off the burlap and used the sparkly pumpkin with some sparkly leaves. Um, let's see, those were, woo, those were these, I got these, I forget where I got these, Dollar Tree probably years ago, and that's what's back here, there's actually five, there's three here and one there, but one of them's just sticking up a little bit, and I used one of the leaves out of this package, well, maybe not that package, I do have a couple packages of them, but I used one of the leaves there, and um, this paper actually has an embossed, that's the embossed paper that I got, uh, what's it called, um, huh. it's called Fall Embossed, uh, that I got at Michael's, that came out of there, alright, I've got all my fall stuff still there, and, uh, like I said, I just put this leaf down, I used, uh, fabric tack, to tack all of this down. This um, pumpkin, when I put it up here, and it, I didn't spray these. Remember I said, oh, remember I said I was going to spray them? Um, the others in the package. I didn't spray these. There's only just like three or four in the package. And that was out of, again, Dollar Tree. Using some Dollar Tree stuff. And I popped this side up. I popped, put, I'll get my you know, tongue untied. I used... <laughs> I can't talk. I used this stuff. I can't remember what it is. And just put it on one side of the pumpkin because it was already getting propped up on this side by these elements over here. And then I had this... Uh, the stamp is from... I've been using... This is like the only Thanksgiving stamps I have. And I use this one right here, the Be Thankful and put it on some just some lighter yellow paper because there's some lighter yellow yellowy orange here inked up the edges and backed it again with some orange that was not this but i inked those edges too and i think it turned out kind of cute with the with the sparkly leaves and the sparkly pumpkin and then i just lined the inside but i thought hey, you know hey okay all right, got that. And then I had some card bases that I had years ago put pumpkin, a, pump, a, 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 a decorated paper on it. They were pumpkins. And I never did finish them. Well, I finished them now. I had this, this paper is Tim Coffee, I believe, is uh, a few years ago had a paper pack and it was Halloween and fall and I, did, I love the it's the the papers printed to where it looks like this is old like crackled and I didn't know what to do with them at the time because I don't like to cover up pretty paper I think that's part of my problem I don't like to cover up pretty paper so I get stuck anyway I used um, that some more of this um, Dollar Tree burlap ribbon, use some more of that, like I did on these cards, on that card, not these cards, that one, and um, I used Dollar Tree, 
Let me find the right ones. Because I have two different kinds. I think these are Dollar Tree. I don't know if these are Dollar Tree or these are Walmart. Dollar Tree has the leaves. I'm not even sure if these are the ones. But they're kind of, I don't know, they got a funny shine to them or something. But these are Walmart leaves that I got a long time ago. Let me see if there's a date on them anywhere. No. But these are, they're like silk. They're like a silk flower. A uh, silk leaf. They're very soft. And there was a bunch of them in there. How many is in there? 80 of them. So I used these leaves, which I've had for a long time. And I layered them behind there. And then I had the, the Happy Thanksgiving stamp out of this Thames, Inka Dinka Doo stamp set. That one right there. And I inked it with, uh, hang on, <laughs> I, it was Vintage Photo and Rusty Hinge. Yeah, Vintage Photo and Rusty Hinge. So on this one, I, particular one, though, I did go ahead and do the, the fishtail on the burlap ribbon. It, it, didn't, it didn't work out as well as I planned. Because it, this stuff is really loosely woven and it wants to come apart. But um, and then I popped this up again. It was already popped up over here with all the layering elements behind. So I just put uh, foam tape underneath this little bit from right about right about there over, and popped it up. I wonder if I lined it. I did line it. I remember. And this was so long ago, it was before I got my other stamp. This has my Created by Pamela with my cat stamp on it. That's how long those bases have been sitting around. So I finally finished that. And I put it in it, these envelopes. And then I did two of them. I just did this one opposite. Where this one's on this side, this one's on this side. And um, I like the way they turned out. I think they turned out kind of cute. So let me know what you think about those. Now one more thing, I'll let you go because I'm long winded. The other day I showed from Dollar Tree I had gotten the, um, in the fall section, I had gotten the uh, stickers that are, they were wood elements and they were pumpkins and leaves. And I said something about painting them and maybe inking them and maybe stamping on them. Well. I got to painting them and it just took a whole other direction. I didn't stamp on them. But what I did was I left them stuck to the stuck to the plastic backing and I painted them this way. And um you know, painted the brown and then I put orange over over top of it. And of course the pumpkins they got orange, just orange. I painted some like vein vein like things. Vein look like veins inside of the leaves and then I went over I took a little bit of green and then a little bit of gold actually gold paint on all of the leaves and then on the pumpkins I painted them orange went back with the brown and painted the little lines in the pumpkins and uh, the stems and then I painted the leaves too and silly me I said oh my gosh those are leaves so then I went back over them with a little bit of green. And then I went back over the edges of those with a little bit of bronze. Uh, you really can't tell. Just a very little bit on the leaves and around the edges of the pumpkins. So that's how what I did with those. I don't have any. Hang on a second. Let me see if I've got something here that I can put underneath of it to where you might be able to see it a little bit better. Here. Aha. There we go. So that's what I did. I sat here and I did that this um, this morning. So, and it was so much easier just to leave them on the on the backing because they, you know, I got paint on the backing, but now I can pull it off and I'm good to go. So let me know what you think of that. I'm not much of a painter. Just not much of a painter. Okay. Well, those are my projects for the day so far. I'm back in here again after lunch. I had a little bit of lunch and I came back and I'm going to get into something else. You know, I'm really wanting to use up this burlap ribbon because I have a feeling I have some more of it somewhere else. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to use two yards of it though. Anyway, and now i got to put these back in the... See, once you do that, you can just put them back in their little sleeve because these are dry. 
I left those to dry while I went to lunch. Well, I ate lunch. I went all the way in the living room. Yeah. And then you can just put them back in there to store them. And they're just done. But these were all just blank. Like like the pumpkins here. I need to paint these pumpkins, show you. But they were all like that, just wood. Alright, I think you, you got it. I think I'm just over proud of myself. Let me say, pat myself on the back. Alright, everybody. Thank you for watching. And I will talk to you later. And I love the comments, so please leave a comment about the cards, the cards in, uh, the cards in my painting, the painting of my pumpkins, and, and uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.